Hi there, I'm Ricky Saias. Thank you for watching Your City in 5. Let's talk about the city's budget for the upcoming 2018 fiscal year. The budget focuses on the needs of the community, providing outstanding services and addressing the priorities of the community and city council. Before we continue with the proposed budget, what did you, the taxpayer, get for your money in 2017? To begin with, public safety has improved. 82 officers graduated from the police academy, meaning more officers on the streets. The police department has replaced 28 old police cars and 10 police motorcycles. The fire department has also replaced four fire trucks. There's more to do in our city now. 60 quality of life projects have been completed. There are eight spray parks and one even has a spray park just for dogs. 15 city parks have upgraded playgrounds and two new playgrounds opened. El Pasoans and visitors also enjoyed a spectacular display of lights at San Jacinto Plaza during the holidays. Other accomplishments made during last year's budget. Our streets are safer because city crews fixed 15,000 more potholes than in 2017. The completion of 80 projects for those who are disabled was also on the list. Your tax dollars also improved the city's economic development. $309 million in new capital investment. Plus, the city saw more than 1,000 new jobs and retained nearly 700. As you can see, last year's budget has really paid off. The city wants to continue the momentum and focus on the needs of the community with the upcoming budget for the 28th fiscal year. Here's what this year's proposed budget will get you, the taxpayer. More improvements to public safety, including hiring enough police officers to add 30 new positions a pay increase for current police officers and firefighters, and more staff for 911 communications. The proposed budget will also pay for overtime used by police and fire to keep El Paso as one of the safest cities in the country. All of these fulfill commitments made during the police and fire collective bargaining agreements. Your tax money would also pay for 21 quality of life bond projects that are expected to be completed during the fiscal year. Safer and better streets are also a priority. Street improvements would total more than $18 million, including matching funds for state and federal funding. A citywide street pavement study to prioritize major street repairs, construction of the Paseo de las Luces Sun City Lights project, and adding traffic signals to 16 busy intersections. Also included is about 25 new ADA projects. Other items that will be covered are pay increases and health care costs for city employees and paying city bills such as the use of electricity and water. Now, in order to improve our city and meet the needs of our community, a slight tax increase will be necessary. The proposed budget has a property tax rate increase of less than four cents. A homeowner with a house valued at $100,000 would pay an extra $39.34 a year. That's about $3.28 a month. That's less than a regular coffee at Starbucks or a double order of Chico's Tacos. Now, if you receive a senior or disabled exemption, you would only pay an extra $23.62 a year or less than $2 a month. In comparison, that's less than the cost of four senior coffees at McDonald's. And it's $15 less than you paid in 2015. You can thank the council that was in office in 2015. They're the ones who approved an additional $10,000 exemption. You can also thank the current city council for keeping those deductions. Now, even though you pay your property tax bills through the city, this is where your tax dollars actually go. 26% to the city of El Paso. Almost half of your tax dollars go to your school district. El Paso County gets 15% while University Medical Center receives 8%, and El Paso Community College collects 4%. By having a responsible budget, the city of El Paso can provide necessary services, remain a safe city, and provide a quality of life that everyone deserves. Okay, did you get all of that? Yeah, I know, that's a lot of information, but you can either re-watch this edition of Your City in 5 and see my pretty face again, or you can visit our website, elpasotexas.gov, and click on the budget banner. Okay, I've got to go. Actually, me and Jonathan have to go. That's my photographer, because we're going to get some Chicos and some coffee. Until next time, I'm Ricky Saias for your city in five.